Hi Ann, this is Narissa. I am going to walk you through how to convert your MP3s or your WAV files to a WMA file, which is a Windows Media audio file. And no matter what the size of the original file, you can compress your win to Windows Media audio file that will fit in an email. Uh, by following these simple steps. Basically you have to be on a PC computer, Windows XP, Windows Vista, um, and you go to Start, All Programs, and we're looking for Windows Movie Maker. Now many times Windows Movie Maker will be uh, listed in your program files. If it's not listed in your programs, go to Accessories, um, I believe it would be Entertainment, and it would be there. Um, but mine is here under Programs. Yours probably is too. Go ahead and click and open Windows Movie Maker. And then here's how it works. Um, I've our, you see if I've got a couple of files here. I'm just going to delete these real quick to make it real simple. Basically, um, go. you don't even have to mess with these buttons. Go to File, Import into Collections locate your audio file. In this case I have a mp3 file called uh, dr four zeros and nineteen that I'm going to import. Make sure that this is not checked. Of course that only applies to video files, but click import. And now it has shown up in your collections. If you hit collections, then basically I imported it into this collection here. For you, it probably showed up under this main collection here, but I've got a lot of individual collections going on. I can also click and drag it into my main collection, so when I select collections, now I see the file. So once you've imported it into Movie Maker, just click and drag it into the timeline. It's going to go into this audio music area. See the little bar? Drag the bar all the way to the front. That means that's where the music or rather audio is going to start and then release the mouse. Okay. If we had uh, released the mouse when the bar was in this area, then basically you'll have some no audio happening at the beginning of your, of your file, and then the audio will happen. So basically, if that happens, just click and drag, release the mouse um, to the beginning of the what's called the timeline. Um, you might also have a storyboard mode, uh, but more than likely it's going to be timeline because we're dealing with audio only. If it is in storyboard mode, go back to timeline. Okay, and don't worry about it where it's going to end. Um, basically, we just want to make sure it's the beginning here. You can also adjust the volume here if you wanted to, um, but at this point I'm not going to go into that. After it's in the timeline, we want to go to File, Save Movie File, My Computer, and it's going to default to your My Videos folder, even though it's going to be an audio, but that's okay. The default name is audio. I'm going to go ahead and do name mine uh, underscore test. Hit Next. And you want to select on the movie settings, um, you want to select best fit to file size. Now, when you go to movie settings, you might only see this. Click show more choices. Best fit to file size, and then with the arrows, go up or down. Okay. With email, you want to hit 5 megabyte or less. And this is the megabyte area here. After you've done that, click Next. It compresses it as a Windows Media Audio file. It shows you how fast it's going. It's saving it to your My Videos folder. Play Movie when I click Finish. I'm going to hit Finish. I don't really need it to play. I know what's going on. And basically that's it. You can save your project if you want. Save Project As and then name your project if you want to keep that audio there. Uh, otherwise, it's not really necessary. You just use Movie Maker to convert your convert your uh, file, your audio file, to a very small emailable Windows Media audio file. And that's it. Ta-da!